Okay, so we understand with technical analysis, there's going to be some analysis involved, some charts involved. And the real key here is understanding some big, big concepts here is that repeatable behaviors uh, will continue to repeat themselves under repeatable circumstances, right? So we show the picture of the sheep moving down the hill. That was momentum. That was some established. But the idea is if, if we could see, like, if we were in another road and there were cows on the road and the road looked the same, that the cows might follow the same pattern, that's some predictability behind it then. There's, there's no guesswork there. We're like, sheep did this, the cows will probably do this, same kind of road. There's a predictable behavior here at that point in time, those repeatable behaviors under repeatable circumstances. And you're looking for predictability. So it's not guesswork. This ain't just guessing or like, oh, that looks like a nice looking chart. Let's just guess and see which way it's going to happen. And there's a strategy behind this. Technical analysis is a strategy, like fundamental and fundamental analysis and fundamental investing is a strategy. Technical analysis is a strategy behind it. It's not guesswork. There is a strategy behind it. And one of the overall key concepts you want to take away from this whole section on technical analysis is the trend is your friend. You read anything in technical analysis, you'll probably see that quote, the trend is your friend. And why is the trend your friend? Because you want to get on that trend in, in the way that you want to head. Let's say prices are rising, you want to ride that wave, you want to ride that, train, that trend, and when it changes, then you want to get off the trend. So you can see technical analysis is much more, can be much more frequent trading than maybe fundamentals or things that might be a long-term buy and hold strategy. Technical analysis might be more uh, advantageous for that trader, somebody who wants to get in and out, for example. So the trend is your friend, and you want to identify a trend after it breaks out one way or another. And you want to get in and out based around that trading or around that trend. So it's not so much about trying to predict is the trend happening or what will happen with the trend. You want to see where it's going, let the trend happen, and then get in. Because if a trend doesn't happen, it's not really a trend yet. It's still, maybe it's a guesswork at that point. It might go off the way direction you want, or it might not go the direction you want. So the trend is your friend, but you need to let the trend establish itself. That's a real key part of technical analysis. Is It might be um, seductive to try to get in early or too early, but you might not be in a trend at that point. You might be just kind of kind of guessing at that point. So technical analysis is about identifying trends, let trends happen, then get in, and then get out. Uh, when it's when it's uh, time to. A couple other key concepts with technical analysis is not 100% accurate. Oh my gosh, if it was, you wouldn't even have fundamentals, for one, because technical analysis would say, we don't even care about fundamentals, just do the chart, just look at the technical part, just look at the, the patterns. So if, if it was 100% accurate, no fundamentals, you really wouldn't even have investing courses, everybody would just do the same thing, because it, it would you do look at the chart, if it looks like this, you buy, boom, you're done. Uh, but it is an idea of being predictors. There is a strategy behind this. There's some proven success factors around it. It is predictors. Uh, think about like the weather, for example. If you have weather forecasters or meteorologists, they're not right all the time. In fact, many times they're wrong. But they're looking at models. They're looking at predictions to see what the weather will be like maybe the next day or the week. Is it 100% accurate? Absolutely not. But you're more likely the person is going to say to you, the weather forecaster, it's not going to be raining tomorrow. It's going to be sunny. It might not be, it might be partly cloudy, but it's probably not going to all of a sudden have a thunderstorm develop, um, hopefully. But once again, it's not 100% accurate. The thunderstorm could develop. So it does not work all the time. It, no technique works all the time. And no technique works on every single type of currency, stock, whatever it might be. No, no technique necessarily works all the time. And you also have unpredictable events, too, that can happen. Things that be like, I have this pattern, everything's coming, coming, coming good. It looks like I've had a trend breakout. And then some unpredictable event happens that an outlier that you can't predict that all of a sudden just messes everything up. And that happens at times. And to be okay with that, understand there are things beyond the market, beyond the trend. You know, things are happening beyond what we're looking at. So now we're going to really dive in deep and really look in close at how we can evaluate charts and look at patterns and make some choices and some investments using technical analysis.